Welcome to We Are Austin. I'm Taylor Ellison. Jordan Steele is off today. He returns to the chair tomorrow, so we have one more day with a very special guest host. You've seen him on CBS's The Amazing Race and writing and starring in his own movies. He's the co-founder of the Austin-based production company Rooster Teeth, and we are very excited he is here today. Good morning to Mr. Bernie Burns. Thanks for being with us. Well, I'm glad I could be here on Jordan's last day that he's gone. I feel like I made it in just under the wire. Just in time. No, see, you're the finale. Oh, that's what it is, yes. right? Everything else was a warm-up act until today. Exactly. Be honest, how many days a week do you see this hour? Oh, this early in the morning? Well, the internet is a global right. industry, so I have to be up at all different times. I very rarely am up at 9 in the morning. <laughs> at least up and working. That's really rare. Yeah, and like dressed and put together and, you know, on live TV. I appreciate the compliment. Put together. You, I haven't heard that one for a while. So that generous. <laughs> well, we appreciate you making it here. So Rooster Teeth is a really special production company. Started here in Austin, Texas yep. in what, 2003. You had your series Red vs. Blue. Did you ever anticipate it growing into this huge creative community that it is? Well, I mean, we had a feeling that all of media was moving to digital mm -hmm. eventually because it just seemed like, you know, audio had changed so much and the print industry had changed so much. So we thought that video and movies would do the same thing. But when we started back in Buda, Texas... Oh, yeah, excuse me. It wasn't even Austin. It was right outside of Austin, yeah, right? We lived out in B I lived out in Buda. We did it in a spare bedroom in my house is where we started the company. Oh, wow. So originally we were going to run for six episodes. That was the big plan. And now it's been 14 seasons of Red vs. Blue, and now we have about 45 other different shows that we're producing. So uh, cool. A hangar at the old airport, if you know where the Austin Film Studios are. So it's a lot of fun. It's come to fruition in such a cool way, and I'm sure it's just going to continue. And then you're going to be involved in Austin Film Festival this year. Right. So, so what does that look like? So I'm on a panel Thursday, uh, and it's all about the future of digital entertainment. And then we have Sitting. a uh, we have a couple of different screenings for our show Crunch Time, uh, which stars Nick Rutherford, Avery Monson, a lot of different people from the comedy scene. They we they put together this incredible show for us, and we're showing two episodes uh, later in the week, and on the weekend we're showing the final four episodes of the show. There's so much to look forward to. I think we actually have a sound bite of Crunch Time. Let's take a look at that. We were on shrooms and we were watching Inception and I said, wouldn't it be rad if we could hack into a chick's brain? Welcome to the brain frame. So it's a machine that allows you to place yourself inside another person's mind. The night you guys hooked me up to that machine it may have been the most terrifying experience of my life. If we could offer an experience that they actually wanted, we could change the world. <laughs> this is going to be fun and entertaining. When you know you're going to be speaking on a panel at Austin Film Festival, do you get nervous about that? I think I do about Austin Film Festival because uh, the thing that I enjoy doing the most is writing. Mm -hmm. And Austin Film Festival is very traditionally considered a writer's film festival. Yeah. It's where a lot of writers come from all over the world and come to this film festival in Austin. Yeah, so you know it's really meaningful. And you got to have yeah. your A game on. Yeah, you do. You so know. you sit on panels, you host podcasts, you star in really entertaining movies. Actually, and you walk on red carpets now, by the way. Oh, that's right. Amazing Race got nominated for an Emmy, and so I was like, I will take credit for that. So we went As to the As you Emmys. should. It yeah. looked awesome that night on the red carpet. So of all those, you live a very multifaceted life. So of all those things, is there anything that's personally satisfying for you, or are they all special? You know, it's been a crazy year. I think the biggest thing this year uh, for me personally was I got to go to the White House mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, the online audience tends to be the younger audience, and right. people are trying to reach, you know, the younger generation about things like voting and climate change and so I got invited to go to the White House. That was just, that was crazy. I never expected that to happen in my life. Yeah, so. that's extraordinary. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Okay, thanks for telling us a bit about your life. Now we're going to, you know, you're a gamer. We're going to play a few games. Is that okay? Okay, sure. Okay. Why not? So why not? Here we go. Don't go rogue. So we're, <laughs> I'm going to give you a few sentences, and you just have to quickly finish them. Just what naturally comes to you, okay? Uh, okay. Don't, don't look at this script. Okay, so Bernie Burns, finish this sentence. It's a good day when? Uh, when I wake up by the third snooze of my alarm, <laughs> okay. I would say. Good answer. My new phone, it's like when it, my alarm goes off, when I lift it up, it automatically goes to snooze mode. Oh, you're kidding. I don't you know said, if it's the yeah, front-facing camera, that. if it just recognizes it, because you need some more you sleep. You need a yeah. few more minutes, sir. <laughs> you need, you need are exactly not ready. nine minutes of sleep from okay, now. Okay, so by the third snooze. Third snooze. If I get up by the third snooze, then I know I might be on time That's to where I'm supposed day. to go. Okay, so if you had to go without a car or a cell phone for a whole day, which would you choose? Oh, uh, in Austin, gets, uh, I'd go without a car because you can use a cell phone to get a car to come to you. But if you have a car, you're not going to drive and buy another cell phone. You're right. Yeah. That's a good answer. Okay, we're going to switch over actually in the sake of time to our other game. So this is We Are Austin Pyramid. So uh -oh. I'm going to... Yeah, here, oh, we got graphics. It's going to be fancy. <laughs> so here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give you clues and you're going to guess 
what the category is. For example, if I said pepperoni, cheese, tomato sauce, red pepper, the answer would be? Clearly hamburger. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. Things on a pizza. That's the answer, okay? All right, so we'll do two of these. So your first one is, don't, again, don't look up there. I don't so, like glad I brought a chair. I've been here for two hours. I heard that President Obama was able to skip ahead of everyone, but he paid for everyone waiting. This barbecue is known around the world. Did you hear Kanye West wasn't allowed to cut in line? The category is... <laughs> it's either waiting in line at Franklin Barbecue or waiting to see my friend Matt Hollum because he's so busy during the day. <laughs> okay, you're right. That is things set in line at Franklin's Barbecue. All right, next one. How, do we have time for a couple more? Okay. All right, so fried chicken, crackers, potato chips, baby carrots, peanut brittle. That is the new taco of the month at Torchies. <laughs> <laughs> that is things that are crunchy. Crunch time, you know. Oh, there we go. We're really clever and funny around here. Should have made here. it about me. Yeah. That would have been easier. Okay, last one. The traffic was so bad. Hey, you going to the festival? Is this what we made? Don't move here. Do you allow dogs on this patio? Wow, things you hear everywhere in Austin all the time. Exactly, you nailed it, Bertie. Thank you so much for hey, being here. We appreciate pleasure. it. So Austin Film Festival, you'll be involved. You can check out that panel, and we can follow along with you at roosterteeth.com 24-7, right? Yeah, or follow me on Twitter, but roosterteeth.com is a place you can find me. And come to our panel at Austin Film Festival. There you go, we appreciate it. Have a good morning. All right. And stick around, coming up on today's show, it's a culinary adventure from across the U.S. to across the world. First Spanish cuisine taking over the We Are Austin kitchen. Up next, we get a lesson on how to mix fresh